How's it going guys? Vandalay here and I'm uh, finally deciding to do Sonic 4. So, uh, let's, let's get started I guess. I don't know. Start button, thank you. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and continue on my file that already has everything unlocked. Uh, I already have all the Chaos Emeralds because I really don't want to have to deal with going through the special stages and trying and then having to actually edit out all my failures like I don't want to do that so let's just go ahead and uh, get going here um, what can I say about Sonic 4 that hasn't already been said um, obviously the physics are total garbage compared to the classics um, I mean it's Oh, he's, Sonic is so stiff, and there's no momentum whatsoever. Uh, just what else? Uh, the homie attack, not welcome addition whatsoever to a classic game. Uh, wrong way. Jesus, huh? Um, uh, what, was, what was I saying? Yeah, uh, homie attack, I do not like. What the hell was that? Uh, however, I, I have to say... If you go into this thinking you're going to get the continuation of Sonic 3 and Knuckles, you're going to be very disappointed. Uh, however, if you go into this thinking it's a, a brand new uh, like series of 2D Sonic games, then God... Oh, Bubbles. I hate you, Bubbles. I hate freaking... I was paying attention. Um, like I was saying, if you go into this thinking it's just a continuation it's, it's not going to be very satisfying. But looking at it as a completely different game, other than you know, a completely different 2D Sonic game, it's actually fun. I do have fun with this game when I'm not thinking of Sonic 3 and Knuckles. So I'll, I'll give it that. That much credit. But that was, that was Act 1 of Splash Hill. Obviously a rehash of, of Green Hill. This whole game is a rehash of Sonic 1 and 2 levels. So, you know. Here's hoping to, you know, Episode 2 being a lot better. I think it will be, if it ever comes out. Because um, they have not said a, a word about Episode 2 so far. And uh, my hope is that uh, E3 will give us some sort of information. But there's also some doubt about that because, I mean, if you go on the Sonic 4 forums, um, they're they're not exactly hinting at anything to be revealed at, at E3. But another theory I have is that um, it's going to be delayed until next year um, and be put on Nintendo's new console, uh, Project Project Fuck Bubbles. God damn you, Bubbles. Um, on their new, their new console because the Wii has a 50 megabit um, space limit and I think that's one of the reasons why Sonic 4 was so limited in, um, in length and what it could do was because they had to develop it uh, for the Wii also so they couldn't really you know go over the top with it however that's why having a full-fledged retail release is a smart thing to do instead of a stupid Episo uh, episodic, episodic, whatever, how you pronounce that, uh, game. However, again, if you didn't have the episodic, episodic game, uh, you wouldn't... It, the whole game could have been like this, and that would have been awful. So I guess, in some respect, that is a good thing that they did in episodes, although they should have kind of had this, like, common sense to not make a game like this, but whatever. I mean, how hard is it really for them with modern day technology to recreate classic physics? I mean, come on. It really can't be that hard. Jesus. Fa fans can do it. Fans have recreated the, uh, the, the physics almost perfectly in, in fan games. So why the hell can't, can't Sega do it, you know? I don't know. I don't know. Um... Anyways, so Splash Hill Zone um, is, is pretty fun. It's 
I don't know, it's probably my favorite uh, zone of uh, in Sonic 4. Although, Splash Lack 3 is just the most automated thing in the world. I mean, if you watch what I'm doing right now, it's pretty much homing attack, uh, booster, spring, zip line. That's all it is. I mean, look at it. Right now, we're probably gonna, we're, yep, right into a zip line. Right into a zip line. Into a spring. Yeah, so. Um, I won't be turning to Supersonic until. God, that is a dick move. That is also a. Oh, you fuckers. Dick move. Um. Yeah, I would say I won't be turning to Supersonic until, like, I, you would normally be able to, because it'd be cheap just going, going through, you know, levels of Supersonic right off the bat, so I'm not gonna do that. Look at that zipline. Spring. Home oh, attack chain. Oh god, I'm getting chased by that, uh... That, uh... Buzz Bomber bullet, or whatever it was. Oh, look at that. Stop midair. Oh, nope. Oh, oh, nope. <laughs> oh god, that's sad. That the music sounds like dying cats, as has been mentioned before. It's all just <laughs> sounding. They should have used God. Just the, the the synth choice for this game is just awful. And speaking of awful music, the spla uh, the boss. Oh, it's the it's the beta Sonic 3D Blast music, and it's just awful. It's the circus music. And look at that, it's the Green Hill boss rehashed for the 100th time at this point. You can't hit him until he's ready, so now you gonna hit him. This makes it ridiculously easy with the homing attack. It's like, okay, that was not him being good, that was me being bad. That was also me being bad. And playing with some lag, a little bit of lag here. Not my fault, not my fault. You can't hit me. <laughs> Yeah, if you stand here and crouch, he can't hit you with uh, his pinch move. Oh. Ah. Hey, why would you need a homing attack the capsule? Can, 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 did they think someone really couldn't just land on it by themselves? Come on. Oh, boy. Alright, play the next act.